The West Indies men faced India over the weekend in the 100th test match between both countries, a relationship which began in 1948. In commemoration of this landmark achievement, the Queen's Park Cricket Club, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, began a three-day voluntary blood drive at the Oval's car park and other noted moments were highlighted. Sachin Ramsubag has more. In 1962, then Indian captain Nari Contractor was struck on his head from a bouncer which fractured his skull and led to brain hemorrhaging. Then West Indian captain Sir Frank Worrell became the first person to donate to Contractor's recovery. President of the Queen's Park Cricket Club Dr Nigel Camacho says this drive is to celebrate this and the 100th test. So today we are open to the public to come and give blood for the next three days Monday, Tuesday, and, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday to be able to save lives. The WHO recommends for TNT 70,000 units of blood should be available per year to ensure a robust healthcare system. Camacho says we're not even halfway there. Currently we receive about 20,000 units uh, a year. So this blood drive in commemoration of a great event is a most welcome um, initiative for the Ministry of Health for the country and we hope that citizens throughout the nation will come down to the Queen's Park Oval right here in Elizabeth Street and come into the mobile unit here at the Queen's Park Oval and donate blood over the next three days between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m. This event is done in partnership with Cricket West Indies, the TTCB, UWI and the Indian High Commission. Blood donation is a quick process with both pre-screening and donations done in the mobile unit. Camacho was the first person donating and had this message for the nation. Yeah, so hopefully this small donation helps save someone's life. Don't know who it'll be, but you know any contribution all of us can make towards helping to save a life, I think we should. So I urge you to volunteer and give blood regularly. It's, a, it's, it's great for the nation. Sachin Ramsubag reporting for TTT News.